Welcome to Learning Crypto. Today we're going to be talking about a project which is called Rebase APY. It has a fixed highest APY of over $1 million in the percentage wise. You can see it, it's a 1 million, almost basically 300. And uh, usually whenever I talk about this project, I am uh, kind of a like those type of project, right? And especially when I'll, whenever they are KYC, meaning uh, we already know what the KYC is, right? Because basically KYC is the uh, team members, basically in order to get into the ping cell, they have uh, provided a proof of identification to the ping cell meaning in case of the scammy thing or rock pool thing happens they will reveal the identities and uh, if you have lost something you can file a criminal charges against them so what is the qyc it's basically we just went over that again i guess you'll be understanding that if you didn't know by that anyway so even though this looks so good right but i uh, would not uh, i mean ask anybody to buy this token actually i would ask actually to not buy until it goes live why because in this video i'm going to be showing you very uh, few things that just uh, looks scammy to me but uh, basically by looking this video, if you are in the pre -sale, if you want to get into the pre-sale stage, it this will help you to, as well to get, I guess, more information about this type of a token to make sure you're not going to be, uh, yeah, messed up, basically. So the first thing that we're going to look at, it's a pink sale. They're saying it's going to be starting, according to their webpage, it's supposed to start at 23 days, 3 hours, but here it is actually in 4 days and 6 hours, which is one strange thing. But this is not it. If we go for the tokenomics right here, you see the tokenomics here, it says 6% for buy, 8% for sell. And actually I opened the uh, white papers. Uh, I also will be putting all these uh, web pages links on the description of this video so you can check it on your own. Uh, nothing in this video I have made up. It is all information out there in the internet and you can check it the same. So as you say for the white papers, it said that they are saying it is a 6% for uh, buying and sell 8% for selling however this is not right if you go for a token sniffer it says it's a 16% so 16.3% for the selling fee plus the taxes I believe it's going to be around like 18 to 20% actually we need to slip, uh, set the slippage tolerance on a pancake swap in order to sell it uh, yeah basically it's going to be about like 18 to 20% instead of 8% uh, whatever they're saying it uh, right here on their web page and as well on their tokenomics and uh, another thing is right here uh, about the like how the total supply is going to go right so the pink sale is supposed to go 40% liquidity 22% team only 5% right and um, marketing and development 10% airdrop so anyway the team they're saying should supposed to get a 5% am I right according to their tokenomics and as well according to their web page they do have it here saying yes this one's right here the total supply is right here but if you go again for the token sniffer that says that uh right here owner wallet that means the team or the de developers it is actually 42.5 i mean it's almost 43 percent basically it's supposed to be no more than five percent as they're saying on the web page it is according to the whatever they have provided on the white papers and as well on the pages but whatever all the contract says it is actually a 43 percent of a, a circulation i mean token supply belongs to the team members meaning it is a huge gigantic whales and if you decide to sell it uh, right in the middle and even if you get like a crazy uh, amount of tokens those amount of tokens might cost nothing like uh, yeah be careful very uh, very very careful on that part and as you see it here they're saying uh, no liquidity is present, making it impossible to sell the token. So ignore if it is a pre-sale. So that is why I would let me yeah, tell you to ignore it because it is too many things, which is kind of a scammy about this project. But not only even that. If you go, uh, what, what is the web page? You see the percentage-wise that what is see it here? It is about over one million, right? But if you go for the white papers, uh, it is was on uh, right here. Do you see something different here? So yeah, it is a 12,000 here and uh, 1 million here. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, it is, yeah, I don't even know how to, uh, uh, yeah, count it. It is a 12,000 oh, because the commas are in different places. So that is why, guys, this one's right here uh, does not seem uh, legit to me at all. Too many misguiding information, too many things which is doesn't work right. Even though they, I, I understand they are on a pre-sale mode, uh, 
uh, at least if they get the things right by the time they pre before the I mean once the pre-sale goes live and if they change it this one's right here uh, to, and they, if they pr pr present some liquidities, I don't know if they put the, put it really back down to 8% here on the selling fees and as well or at least change it here on their web page because I do understand the rebase type of a token will do have, uh, I mean sh supposed to have higher selling I would say taxes in order to get you those uh, crazy APYs so that is why it's still too early for me to say they are scam or not uh, let at least uh, wait for them to go I mean for the pre-sale to start actually and then we're gonna see what is basically wrong with this guys or, or because yeah it is still on a, I would say profit hype or something like that because as I said it is not, it is not even yeah going on a pre-sale it's a fair lunch anyway I just uh, wanted to let you know that uh, if they not gonna change anything about those things that I showed you in this video be very careful getting into this once because this type of a project was giving a crazy APY over a million in the percentage wise and as well as the like so many cool web page and so many cool, cool things they have shown Do not and even the QYC do not get into all this only because uh, yeah they look I guess they're promising you something good watch at what they have behind it. I mean watch what they have on the papers uh, that's what I wanted to warn you guys and yeah if you like this type of a video where I talk about the potential coins to be good or potential coins to be bad uh, yeah just subscribe for the channel like the video and uh, we'll make a more video thank you have a good one bye